What's good, everybody? It's your boy Head Tech. All right, so today I'm gonna do a tutorial vid for you guys. All right, because <clears throat> I haven't done one in a while. So, pretty much what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to, you know, take your beat from the MPC and put it on to the um, to your PC or laptop or whatever. I'll show you my method. Um, I'm gonna actually um, just do it with a a track that I actually did for the the remix album. It's the one I did for Nas. It's one of my favorites. Now, uh, if if you guys got that remix tape, thank you so much, you know. Um, it was a lot of fun to do. It took me about a week. So needless to say, the um, the beats were all really um, simple, kind of loose, you know, but I did it on purpose to kind of give it that underground feel. Um, and actually when I uh, put the beats down for the um, for the main track, I didn't I didn't actually lay the the beat down one track at a time like I'm going to show you here. I just did it straight off the MPC to make it sound all raw. I didn't really mix it or nothing. So, you know, if there's inc inconsistency or whatever in the in the remix tape, I kind of did it on purpose, you know, to give it that underground feel. So, I'm going to um just kind of bang this um one beat out for you real quick live, you know, and then I'll show you how to import it into the into the computer, all right? Okay, and a lot of new uh, MP users are actually asking me how to save everything on you know their whole project. So, uh, what you want to do is actually hit Mode and Save, which is Pad Three. <clears throat> Squirrel Tilt says Save Entire Memory Project, and what that's going to do is going to it's going to save all your samples, all your sequences, everything you got in there. It's not like you have to do it one at a time. You know what I mean? So hit Do It, and then choose a folder. Usually, you're going to have to create a new folder. So you'd go to Save To and Squirrel Tilt says New Folder. You know what I mean? I've already got um, it saved in here, so, right? I have it in there, and then you got to name the project. This is just J1, you know, and then hit do it, and that'll save everything. And when you want to bring it back up, just hit mode load, which is pad two, and scroll through until you find the folder that you saved it in, and then uh, and then the project should be inside of there. Okay? All right. So what I use up here in Lab Miner is um, Adobe Audition, Cool Edit Pro. Um, I like it a little bit better than Pro Tools just for editing and all that. But um, so open that up, arm a track, right? So I'm gonna actually lay this down a track at a time, drums and then sample and then, you know. So, but I want to lay a click track down first so I can kind of get everything on on the same you know uh, tempo. So I always go on my MPC. I always go to a new track, um, and I just don't have any samples or anything on it. And I um, find the tempo that the song is at and I put that in the BPM. And then I go to um, metronome on the uh, MPC, you know what I mean? And then uh, when it says click in play, I hit yes. So all you have is just the, you know what I mean, the tempo. So I'm going to go through and actually just record about eight clicks, maybe. That way I can, um, that'll give me a nice... Um, you know, click track to kind of start the okay, track. Okay, so I got about three sequences in this song. <clears throat> um, so I'll, I'm just going to do two, um, two, um, what's it called, um, bars of each, I guess. You know what I mean? 
Now what I want to do first is I want to lay the drums down. I have all my drums on um, track one. You know, I don't do hi-hats on track one, snares on track two, at least not on this song, you know what I mean? So you want to um, just play your, you know, monitor and make sure that the, the, the record level is okay. You're not peaking or whatever. So what I do, and I'm sure you guys all have different methods, and you know, let me know if you if you got your own method that works better. But I mean, I'm old school, so um, pretty much what I'll do is just um, solo the drums right first for this first track. Okay, I'm gonna listen to um, to my click track. I'm gonna come in on on four. All right. Now what I did was I went through and I um, muted the drums and then just soloed the samples, you know what I mean? So they're all on track two. Okay, so, you know, I did those separately and uh, since I used that click track on the top, I actually pretty much hit it on the money, but um, you might have to go through and um, you know, if, if the beat's not lined up perfectly, you know, you can always like uh, move them around and, and to just try to hit them on this first note here. You know what I mean? So uh, I mean, pretty much it came out like this. It's there, just like off the MP. You know what I mean? Now another way you could do it is if you if you just want to lay the beat down as is from the MPC just straight into the computer with no separate tracks whatever you could do that as well so you, you don't mute anything you just keep the whole uh, track on right and so um, let me let me see I'll just lay this down uh, see, hit record everything's already in there you know what I mean I'll go to the next sequence There. You don't have to do it a track at a time. If uh, this is like how I did the mixtape, you know what I mean? Everything just kind of uh, was straight off the MPC. I, I did a little bit of EQ or whatever afterwards, but you know, it's pretty simple. That this, this way, if you just do your whole track like this, right off the MP, you know what I mean? You can you could easily put your music on the MySpace or whatever, you know what I mean? Just because it's all there, you don't have to do it a track at a time. So now if I'm laying down a um a track, you know, and I want it to sound real good and clean if I'm working on a bigger project, then I do the same method. But what I do is, um, you know, a lot of times the song's going to be three or four minutes long, you know, and it might have three or four sequences in it. So as I'm recording each part into the computer, um, I have like a notepad and uh, that tells me the, the length of each sequence and where it sits in the song, you know. So as I'm recording it live into the computer, you know, say it starts in sequence 12, I'll go for you know two or three um, measures or whatever and then I'll switch it over to 13 for instance and then back to 12 and then maybe it goes to 14 next you know so um, you know just be real clean and, and um, you know as as you're laying this down make sure that um, all your sequences line up and all that and um, like I said you know once you got it in the computer try to since they're individual separate tracks um, it's good to have that click track at the beginning, that metronome, because that way you could start your beat, you know, on the on the one, and then um, and then line them up. So, like I said, if you got to go through and then like kind of move the the wave files around a little bit to kind of make it really tight, that's cool. But once you have them in there, um, say you have like four separate tracks, you know, drums, and then like two or three other samples, you can go in and do drum drops. You could pull, you know, you could pull the drums out for a minute. You can solo the um, the sample anytime so you can give the, um, the song some dynamic so say you got an MC that's um, recording over it or you're doing a remix you can actually like you know drop the drums out for a minute so that his voice sticks out you know just make make the song real dynamic or whatever so um, I'll get into um, like editing each sample in another uh, little episode you know where you can go in and compress and EQ everything make it sound real clean you know so, um, you know, I hope this helps get back at me for any other questions you guys got. I know it was a simple little tutorial, but, you know, I don't know any other way to explain it. I mean, you know, it's pretty simple. So get back at me with any questions you have, okay? Enjoy.